Sabaiti Fi Mai and Happy New Year, everyone. My name is Christy Inavong. I am one of the founders of Tuk Tuk Box. And today we are going to do a little bit of Lao cooking. So I'm going to teach you um, one of my favorite, like simple go-to recipes um, and maybe show you a few shortcuts along the way. So we are going to make lap. I am making it with ground turkey. And as you can see, I've already started prepping some stuff, you know, in the magic of TV land where things are already pre-made, this is what we're doing. So what we do is take about one pound of protein. Um, I would say this serves about two people roughly, or maybe about six lettuce wraps. And lap is traditionally served um, with sticky rice or in a lettuce wrap or a cabbage wrap. For those of you who don't know, lap is a Lao minced meat salad filled with a lot of aromatics and herbs. Um, sometimes you'll find makrut lime leaf or some galangal in there, but always a lot of lime, chili, fish sauce, and some herbs that I'll show you in a minute. So here we have our, our ground meat, um, which I already pre-cooked, and I'm just going to turn it on low and let that sit for a second. And one of the most important parts of lap is our toasted rice powder. So if you look here, we have a sticky rice that has been toasted over low heat until it's golden brown. And if you don't have sticky rice, it's okay. We can always use jasmine rice. But what we do is we toast it till it's golden brown and then we put it into our mortar and pestle, or a croak, that's what we call in Thai, or Lao. And then we pound it. So you pound or grind until you get these really fine granules and almost like a powder. So this is your main, really your main ingredient of Lao. If you don't have the toasted rice powder, then you're probably doing it wrong. Um, but yes, this is the essential part of lap, and the meat is kind of uh, the vessel or I guess the main protein, but it can be turkey, it could be tempeh, it could be tofu, chicken. Most of the time you would find it with pork in Laos. So what we have here, going back to our meat, is the ground meat, and I'm going to put some chopped shallots in. I just like my shallots a little bit cooked because they are quite um, strong. So we're just going to, to toss that in here and let those warm up a bit while we prep our herbs and add that out. I just wanted to give a quick shout out and um, show of love and appreciation for OACC for inviting Tuk Tuk Box to be a part of their new year program this week and also just want to show our gratitude for all the work that you're doing in Oakland and in the AAPI communities. And so thank you all for watching this and um, hopefully you can recreate this at home. So I'm going to show you how to prepare some of the herbs and then we're going to put our dish together. So here I just have some standard scallions. We're going to kind of chop those up nice and small. It doesn't have to be perfect here. No one's perfect. We're just going to get a rough little chop, but I would say about a good handful. And then of course we have our Thai chilies. I'm going to do three because my household likes pretty mild, but we are just going to do a rough chop. So one thing to know with chilies, of course, don't ever touch your face or your eyes after um, preparing your chilies, but the smaller you slice them, the spicier your dish is going to be. So I'm just going to press down with my knife and release some of the oils and just slice them into about four big sections. This way I know that I can pull them out if I need to or if my mouth is on fire and I don't kill anybody. So put those off to the side and then let's go in with our cilantro here. So we have a nice big handful of cilantro we're just going to roughly chop some of that. All of these fresh herbs are going to be tossed into our protein mixture. Oh my 
god it smells so good i love cilantro and again you can use any of these or all of these or none of these if you want to put bean sprouts or some galangal or lime leaves or even banana blossoms and lemongrass you can this is just traditionally how my mom made it so she would never use ground meat to be honest she would use whole chicken breast and then mince it herself. And that is very traditional um, in Laos because most of the time you don't find the meat ground or at least traditionally they would never find the meat ground. They would just mince it themselves. But of course here in America we have access to things like ground meat and it's just faster. So I'm going to do a nice hearty handful of mint. I also like to put culantro in here which is like a longer cilantro um, often found in Lao and Vietnamese cooking but I couldn't find any today so we are just going to put our mint our cilantro green onion and we're just going to put that all to the side and then check on our meat up here so I think my shallots got a little bit brown we're just going to transfer this all to a large bowl smells so good. Also, one thing to um, note, if you've ever had lap in Laos, sometimes it's served even with buffalo meat or uh, raw blood or um, even maybe chunks of like coagulated blood. That is something that I'm not a huge fan of, to be honest, but um, there are many different ways to make lap. This is just a quick and easy way. Okay, so we have our meat here. We're going to throw in all those chilies and all of the herbs. So it brings some nice freshness and brightness. And then the way that we season it, of course, is with lime and fish sauce. And traditionally with badak. So badak is like a fermented fish sauce, um, almost like a, a fish paste. And probably every Lao household that you go to has a bucket of this under their sink. So in any Lao household, if you ask for badak, uh, they know what it is and they put it in everything. Um, I do not love badak, so today we're just going to do fish sauce. So this adds um, the saltiness and some some of that umami, we're gonna go in with a hearty spoonful. I would say it's about two tablespoons. And then the juice of at least one lime. And I like my lot pretty citrusy. So you want a good balance of spice, of citrus, of salt, and then all of those fresh herbs, of course. And then we're gonna mix that right up. And then we're almost done. So some of the things that we do for Lao New Year are go to the temple and we usually give alms to um, any of the monks that are there and prepare food or, or give offerings and um, do different blessings and kind of believe that the new year as similar to American culture is Kind of the cleansing of of past sins or anything that you want to let go of in in the in the last year and kind of a refresh or renewal if you will so often this is symbolized in lao culture with water um, most people that have traveled to thailand have heard of uh a tradition called Songkran or a celebration called Songkran where it's like a, almost a huge water fight. But in Laos, we also do this. Um, so you can sprinkle some water on somebody and, and give a little prayer or even have a big water fight with your friends. And that is a, a washing away of the past year and starting anew. Okay, so if you come in closer, we have this beautiful salad. I'm going to get the counter a bit messy because I'm going to go in a little bit deeper here, but I just wanted to show you as we're mixing it up. So 
So we have the nice color from all those herbs and the chilies and the shallots. And then to add a little bit more heat and color, I'm going to put some dried chili flakes in there. So I have some of the fresh chili flakes and then some of the dried. And we're gonna mix that all up and then we're gonna taste test. And I can see that I already want a little bit more lime. You do want some, some moisture and some juice in this actually. So we're gonna go in with another half a lime or so. So for limes, in order to re release some of that juice, just roll it out. Okay. So we're gonna squeeze in that lime. And take a pause. So we just squeezed in some more of that lime and add some chili and I'm getting lop everywhere. And lime juice everywhere. One of um, the questions that I get often about when you cook the meat is do you put oil? And some people might argue with this, but um, I would say traditionally we don't cook the meat with oil, just use a little bit of water. This is a really fresh dish, almost like a meat salad. Um, and so we don't want the, the meat or the dish oily at all. We get the moisture or we get some of that moisture back from adding a bit of water to the meat, but also from the lime and the fish sauce. So you don't have to worry about it. Um, burning if you just add it like a tablespoon of water. Okay, so I'm gonna try this and make sure that there's enough fish sauce and lime in there and then we'll add our toasted rice powder on the top. Okay, here we go. Let me make sure I get all those things up in there. Hmm. I definitely could go for more heat. I'm gonna add a touch more of the, the dried chili flakes, but you can also throw in the fresh. Hmm. I want more lime, to be honest. So I'm gonna add a little bit more lime, and then we're gonna to toss it again, and then throw in that toasted rice powder. So the toasted rice powder adds kind of a a nice texture and because of the char it almost adds a little bit of a smoky flavor into the lap. So I'm just going to put probably about two tablespoons for this amount of meat. Just gonna put it all over the top and it looks nice and pretty and then we can toss it again. So you should have it completely coated and you get a little bit of that toasted rice powder in every bite. Here, let's taste it again. Mmm. It's so good. Okay, so we're gonna plate it and then eat. If you wanna, um, be a little bit more health conscious, you can eat it as a lettuce wrap, which we are doing today, or as I mentioned, traditionally it is served with sticky rice. So we're gonna just put a nice serving in there, or you can eat it with like endive or cabbage, however you want. And we're just gonna top it off with some nice herbs. And there we go. So this is our lap turkey. Um, hope everyone has a great New Year's, stay safe, and thank you again for joining, and hopefully you learned how to make Lao lap. Thank you.